Hi, I'm Dorcas, and I'm going to show you how to use Google Image Search to find some free images that you can use on your website or social media. Here I am in Google, and let's say, for example, I'm going to do search, first of all, for a uh, rabbit. So I'm doing search for rabbits, and let's just move the screen here so you can see my search. And um, I'm going to click on images, and now you'll see here are loads and loads of images that Google have found when I did the search rabbit. And the most important thing to know here is that you can't just take any of these images and use them on your website because you're probably breaking the law or breaching copyright terms and conditions. The people who have taken these photographs, um, they own the copyright of them. So you can't just take these images because they probably belong to somebody else. A lot of people call this Google images. It's not Google images, it's images that have been found via image uh, search within Google. So um, in the same way as, for example, if you do the normal Google search, uh, these aren't Google websites, they're websites that Google have found. So when I click images, they're not Google images, they're images that Google have found. So um, I'm going to click or uh, look up here and you can see when I click on search tools, a little extra menu appears there. So when I click on search tools, then I'm going to click into usage rights. And you can see I'm going to select, for example, labeled for reuse with modification. So the difference between labeled for reuse and labeled for reuse with modification means that I can resize these images, add in my own text, basically do whatever I want. So I'm going to click into here, and now I see a much smaller selection of images. And it's not enough just to take these images from here because um, the idea is that I need to check the license to make sure I'm allowed to use the images and how I'm allowed to use the images. Online, there is such a thing as a Creative Commons license. And this Creative Commons license normally comes in two formats. So the first format is um, images that anybody can use to do anything they want with, but they have to accredit the original author. So you have to link back or say who originally took that picture. And the second Creative Commons license that you'll see a lot is CC0, Creative Commons 0. And that means that you can use that image um, but you don't have to accredit as the original author. So typically you might want to look for CC0, but at least you want to make sure before you take these images, you want to check the license and make sure that you're allowed to use this image. So let's go back into Google. So for example, let's say I really like this image. I'm going to click on the image. You see it got big. Now I'm going to click again. And now I'm on this website and now I have to find where that image is. And here it is again. So I click onto it. And depending on the website that I'm on, I need to look to see, can I see something about a license? So for example, on this image, you'll see over in the right hand side, it says CC0 license and it tells me what it is. It says free for a personal and commercial use, no attribution required. So I can use this image. So depending on the website, sometimes there's a nice green button like this where I can download the image or else if I don't see a nice button like that, I right click and then save image as, and that's where I can save it onto my computer. So let's just go back into Google and look at a different image for an example. So um, let's say for example, whoops. So let's say for example, we like this image. So now again, I click on it, it goes big. I click again to go onto the website that it's from. Now I'm looking on this page to see, can I see the image? Here it is, click onto it, I'm looking for the license. And again, you can see here, I have my, let's just move over my screen. You see here, I have my CC0 license and it says again, free for commercial use, no attribution required. So I can either click this button or else right click, save image ads to save it onto my computer if I don't see a nice download button like that. And let's again, go back to Google and now let's see, can we find an image um, with a different type of license. So let's say, for example, um, let's click on this image. So let's say I like this image, click here, see, can I get onto the website? Now I'm on um, this website, it's actually wikimedia.com. And you can see I'm looking for some information about this license and you can see it's down here. So it says that I'm free to um, use this image under the following conditions attribution. It says you must attribute the work in the manner specified by the author or licensor. So for example, I can use that image, but um, I must accredit um, or attribute the original author. So for example, um, I either do that or if I don't want to do that, then I go back to Google and find an image that I don't have to accredit the original author with. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. Bye.